I found this bit of wood several years ago and it's been waxed, it's been polished, it's had loads done to it and I really like it. But I've never really done anything with it, it's just sat on the side like this. So what I'm going to do is create a clear crystal to put in there and I think that'll look quite nice sitting there like that with a clear crystal in. Now I've got my clear crystal mould that I've turned inside out and what I'm going to do is before I cast in that I want to make sure it's as clean as it possibly can be. So I'm going to go over it with one of these big wipes and I have found these to be the perfect thing to clean it with. And I clean all my moulds and mats now with these. I still use baby wipes, but I use anything that I want to clean up, like my hands or anything, with these. It's not sponsored by these people, by the way. <laughs> not at all. I just love them and found them. It was a builder that told me about them, I think, in the first place. I can't remember. Okay, so I think they've got all the glitter and everything that, that may have got attached to that. I'm just going to go in it now and then let that dry. I will link this mould underneath because it cures up lovely without any seams in it whatsoever. So now I'll put that to one side to dry. One of the ways I measure how much resin I need is a mould like this, I would just fill up with water right to the top and then pour it into my jug that I'll be using for my resin. And then have a look and see what that comes up to. And mark that. Mark that there. And I can just pour that in. Now wait for everything to dry before you go pouring your resin in it because you don't want to mix resin and water. It doesn't mix very well. So I need 250 mils of resin. So that'll tell me whether I need to use a deep pour or not. Now I've used this one many, many times without using a deep pour. I have done it with deep pour, but I found that the Tea Expert works really well. And that's this one, the Tea Expert Crystal Clear. Works really, really well for this because it is kind of a medium pour depth of resin. You can do shallow pours with it as well. So now we let those dry and then I will mix up my resin. Well I've got my resin all mixed up now and I want it to be crystal clear. I don't want it to have any bubbles in it whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is pour it into these plastic cups and put it into my bubble removing machine. Now the reason I'm putting it into these plastic cups is I find it degasses much better in these than it does in silicon. And I'm using the new one resiners have just bought out and it is ideal for the crafter. It's cheaper than the first one they brought out. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it does work really, really well, which I'm going to show you now. The only thing is I wouldn't use a very, very thick resin in this one. You're better off using the other one. But this one works great for medium to low viscosities. And I can put both of those in there. And the great thing about this is all I need to do is put my lid in, make sure my little silicon plug is in like that and now all I have to do is push the on button and that will work now for 15 minutes if it's finished before then I can always turn it off by pushing the button again but if it isn't it'll auto shut off and you'll see the massive difference once that has been through here and it will clear all that resin of bubbles so that's now had its time all I have to do is release the little tab that releases the pressure and then the lid will come off now I would always recommend that you let this stand for about a minute it before you go ahead and use it but look how lovely and clear that has become there's a few bubbles on the top but they will dissipate now so i'm ready to pour that in now it's gone lovely and clear and what i'm going to do is pour it down the sides and hopefully not trap any bubbles in it myself because obviously they're nothing to do with the machine and i clean these cups out just using a big wipe and i use them over and over again they're really really easy to clean out and so useful so don't chuck them out but clean them out before it cures it gets much cleaner and it leaves it much simpler to clean that's not Nice and finished. All I'm going to do now is a tiny bit of squidgy widgy and tappy wappy around the edges just in case any bubbles have stuck to that side when I've poured that resin in and hopefully that'll release them and then again around this rim as well. And now leave that to cure up overnight and I'll show you how great it looks. This is all cured now and as you can see in there I think it is lovely and clear but the proof is always in the pudding. So I'm going to just take this out of its mould. And it, as I said, it comes out in one lovely piece. Oh, look at that. Absolutely 100% crystal clear. And it makes such a difference putting your resin when you're curing something like this and you're casting into that bubble extractor. So this is going to be fitting on here. 
like this with that there like that so that's kind of how i want it to sit with this bit holding it but i don't want it just to sit and be like that i want some light to shine through it so what i'm going to do is with my drill i'm going to drill through this i think this is rosewood very hard so that's sitting on there nicely now and all i have to do if i want to place that on there like so and now I've got a light shining through it. I don't know how well that's going to turn out. Let's turn the lights off. Yeah, I think that shines really well through there. <laughs> Makes a nice little light a really nice feature. But even without the light shining through, I think that looks great. What about you? And just a piece of wood that I picked up and a lovely casting. And once again, a completely 100% bubble free casting. I'll link everything that I used in the description below. Don't worry, you'll be able to get hold of it if you want to get hold of it. If I've got any discount codes, I'll link them too. Move that light button hit that subscribe button make sure you check out the video that's coming up next i think you'll really like that one take care enjoy your resin bye oh, i really like that i think that's come out lovely